Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jujube bird and shun the frumoyous bandersnatch. Welcome to Geek Devotions, a show by a couple of devoted geeks devoted to letting you know that you are loved. I am Celeste, if you haven't already figured that out. If you're new to the show, welcome! So today we are going to talk about one of my favorite head trips ever, Alice in Wonderland. I have a love for Alice because she's everybody's imagination. At least that's what I think. So in Alice's Many Adventures in Wonderland, there is a book written by Lewis Carroll called Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There. Alice is in a world called Upside Down World or Mirror World, depending upon what translation version episode you're reading slash watching, because it is a book, but there have been so many renditions of this happenings of Alice in Through the Looking Glass. Alice meets a creature called the Jabberwock, not the Jabberwocky. That's the name of the poem, Jabberwock. The Jabberwock is this fearsome creature. Yeah, it's got teeth. Sorry, couldn't help myself. And in all of the accounts of Alice's adventures in Mirror World, she defeats the Jabberwock. Again, fearsome creature, fangs, flappy things. It really well done in the 2010 movie with John, Johnny Depp. Really liked that rendition because it was all creepy and, <sighs> and you know, it was cool. In the 1985 made for TV version of this story, the Jabberwock is comprised of Alice's fears. The way that she defeats the Jabberwock in this version is that she faces her fears and he is defeated. He's slain. He is gone. As Christians, we are told in 1 Timothy 1.7 that we are not given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Now, admittedly, some of us are a little crazy, but we can be crazy and still have a sound mind. There are some people who are so immobilized by fear that they cannot do the things that they know that they, know they need to do. Sometimes, even if you are not physically immobilized, you may be spiritually immobilized. You may be so terrified of doing the things that God has called you to do, the things that He has put in your life, that you don't actually do any of it. And that's not the plan that God has for you. Sometimes the things that God has called us to do require faith. Sometimes they require a mustard seed of faith. And sometimes we have to take that mustard seed of faith put it in the ground, let it grow a tree so that we can have a big oak tree from a mustard seed, don't ask, I'm clearly not a botanist, from a faith. In the 2010 version with Johnny Depp, the way that Alice slayed the Jabberwock was that she had to believe six impossible things. And one of the things, the last impossible thing, in fact, was that she had to believe was that she could slay the Jabberwock. Friends, sometimes that fear in your life is your Jabberwock and God has given you the tools, the capabilities, and the big flipping sword to slay the, your Jabberwock. Big flipping sword. <laughs> flipping sword. She had a big flipping sword. The sword of the spirit. Whoa. So what fears are you overcoming, friend? For me, doing this is honestly part of overcoming some of my fears. It is slaying my Jabberwock every week. It's a nasty bugger. So... You can do it! Let us know. Leave comments. Message us. Let us know what you're going through so we can be praying for you. Because we do pray for you. Let us know so we can pray specifically and agree with you as you, become, as you overcome your Jabberwock. Okay guys, that was your devotion for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. 
want to say a special thank you to one of our viewers who sent us this awesome thing right here Batman 66 volume 1 we're gonna to try to do a uh, I like that song we're gonna to try to do a review of it it's either gonna be a Taco Tuesday review which we haven't put out the first one yet because we want to make sure they're good or it'll be a blog post we'll have links in the description below next week with uh, what's actually happening so we'll, we'll decide then we'll figure it out <laughs> Absolutely. Also, don't forget to check out our Instagram and Facebook. We try to post little things here and there about the different devotions. Kind of just to give you a little bit of boost along the week. Make you think some. Absolutely. Our question of the week is simply this. Mm. If your Jabberwocky was real, what would it look like? Mm. Hmm. What would yours look like? I think that mine would look like the one in the 2010 movie mm -hmm. just because they did a really good job with it but it would like be bigger mm -hmm. and it would smell right you don't get the smell with movies it would smell smell a vision Ugh, no we don't <laughs> need that so hmm. mine would i feel like would in essence be like this giant black dragon creature however oh no i know what mine would look like oh no you said that and i thought yes. it would look like shiloh who the spider from Lord of the Rings. No, no, no. That would be yes. Like world on fire. Burn it onto the ground. <laughs> Alright, so mine would possibly look like that, but also I'm like <laughs> thinking is uh it'd be this massive dragon looking thing, but but you wouldn't be able to see it. Like that would be my thing, is there would be this, like this unknown thing lurking so, in the shadows. So like the Vashtonarati? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. That's our, that's our stuff for the day. Awkward moments. What's yours? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, well, sweet Christmas, guys. See you next week.